Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, it is always hilarious to watch someone go out there and posture and bolster and just stick their chest out like they're some big bad fool. And they're just going to be able to not take it from anybody. And, you know, it's really easy to do when you're in a room full of sycophants who will cheer you on and, you know, clap for you like a bunch of moronic seals that just you just gave them a fish. And, you know, they're going to pat you on the back and they're going to go out there and you guys are going to have drinks at your little cocktail party afterwards. And you're going to tell them how you got to own those silly little YouTubers and those silly little Internet trolls and yada, yada, yada and all the rest of that stuff. And, you know. It's funny because they've gotten away with that kind of stuff for, well, by, I get years at this point. I mean, some could argue over a decade, maybe even more at this point. But times, they are a change in boys and girls because it's not that way anymore. We're, and the people aren't just sitting down, shutting up, and taking it anymore. You have devastated and you have destroyed so many of the things that they absolutely love and their escapism that they now have nowhere to run to anymore to get away from all of the nonsense of your average day life and all of the back and forth in the culture and all of the rest of the kind of people pushing one agenda, somebody pushing another agenda, and all the rest of that kind of stuff. Well, now you forced all of your agenda arguments and your battleground into all of their escapism. And guess what? People aren't putting up with it anymore, and they're taking their they're taking their escapism, they're taking their culture back. And people like Alyssa Mercante are losing absolutely miserably because after being very bolstery about claiming out there that she was willing to take on anybody physically that was willing to challenge her on, well, two very, very lovely and wonderful ladies out there in our wonderful little corner of the internet, our little fellowship over here, Mara Jade and Vera Dark offered to fully take on her. And even there was some discussions going on between Alyssa Mercante and Vera Dark. But of course, Alyssa Mercante was doing it nothing more than posturing and trying to score brownie points and virtue signal because as soon as the actual time came to try to figure out the actual details, she spun a narrative about how she would not do anything to help support some other person's bigoted viewers or try to have them make any money off of all this kind of stuff coming up with any kind of excuse she possibly could to do this kind of thing even though celebrity matches like this kind of thing has been very popular as of late and have been very beneficial for a lot of charities all over the place but of course not because Ms. Melissa Mercante's charity only goes one direction just like everything else their standards only go one direction if they didn't have double standards they'd have no standards at all because even after offering to initially do it for charity and have the proceeds go to that no 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 it came down to nobody wanting to make any money off this and not wanting to even have it video recorded why wouldn't you want it recorded Alyssa Mercante why wouldn't you want it live streamed out there for all the people to see and have it benefited charity and raise a bunch of money oh that's right you're nothing more than a bunch of virtue signaling keyboard warrior coward because as soon as someone is willing to step up to the plate and take up your offer after trying so smugly to say no one would because we were all the cowards, you backpedaled quite quickly, ran and hid behind the block button again, and now have shut down and locked down your entire Twitter account. So it's tell me, Elisa Mercante, who's the pussy now? So boys and girls, we're going to share this article from That Bark Place and Joe over shame and laugh at this woman, this Elisa Mercante, because boys and girls, we're around here to make shame great again. And Elisa Mercante and all of her BS nonsense, gaslighting, puffing up the chest and a bunch of virtue signaling nonsense deserves to be shamed, will not be tolerated and absolutely should be ridiculed and laughed at because boys and girls around here, we're going to make shame great again. So we're going to check out this article from That Bark Place, getting all of the juicy details and see exactly what kind of nonsense BS excuses she comes up with and ridicule the hell out of them. But before we do, if you do enjoy our content, make sure you hit that like button, share with all your friends, subscribe and or follow if you have not already. And whether you're watching live or you're watching this over on the video replay later, leave us a comment down below and tell us exactly what you think of Elisa Mercante and how tough she really is. Kotaku senior editor Alyssa Mercante is attempting to explain why she's refusing to fight anyone after being the one to issue a challenge to a fight. During an appearance on Giant Bomb, Mercante issued her challenge stating I want people in the industry to be a little bit louder about me to other people, yada yada yada. We've talked about this extensively. If you haven't seen the video, by all means, that clip is in other videos of mine. Go back and check those out if you need the full story. Because trust me, it's hilarious, it's funny, and it's great to laugh at and make fun of these people. So by all means, go right ahead. And once again, as we stated in the very beginning of this video, our dear sweet Vera Dark, who is a wonderful YouTuber out there. If you haven't gone on and followed her, definitely do that on all of her social medias out there. 
absolutely took up the challenge and flat out said, hey, guess what? You've got me blocked. So why don't you DM me since you've got me blocked for some reason? And Amvera Dark flat out said that she doesn't block anybody. She is not that kind of person. Whereas Mercante flat out said she just blocks people at giant swaths just because she doesn't have to deal with us. Oh, so you can sit on your pedestal. You can sit in your ivory tower and shoot arrows down at us. But as soon as we decide to return fire, oh no, boy, if you can't handle the heat, get out of the kitchen, Alyssa Mercante. And clearly you can't because now you've backtracked and backed off. Once again, our wonderful Mara Jade also issuing the challenge out there as well and accepting the challenge because guess what? She's got some really nice Mara martial arts trophies to go for. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Even our dear sweet Lorena Creole, the gorgeous, the wonderful, and the smart Lorena Creole herself, our dear sweet Rihanna, decides to go, has me blocked, but I guess she won't fight from a black woman. I'm still out for that throwdown. Come at me, you racist heifer. I love it. She ain't holding nothing back anymore. And so, yeah, no prize money, charity only. You can't stream it for your bigot viewers. Of course, Keemstar, of course, tried to help in and jump because he's organized a bunch of these and he's not even made any money about this. Keemstar didn't even know who this woman is, but apparently she hates him already because that's how obsessed she is with hating people out there on the internet. Once again, the whole money thing doesn't even know you, completely and totally hates you. So once again, she tries to go out there and she goes, now she's trying to come up with her excuses. I'm not a YouTube rage peddler. Vera's already been using me to make money and get views. She's not doing for this. If you want to box, box for a cause, not to further boost your disgusting little corner of the internet. And no, on another of your rage peddlers can't host. This was always just another way for her to farm engagement as proven by the fact that she never responded to my DM. She's soft, which of course we already covered and documented and showing that Vera Dark of course proved that that was out there and all of the other primes. So now here we go. So Mercante then snarked back, go back to view reviewing Epcot bathrooms or whatever it is that you did before the grift. Wow. So here we go. Mercante doubled down on this response to the coverage from this author in a previous article in that Park Place. She wrote, My face, my likeness, my words, my posts. I've been making grifters like you and Vera money for months. I will not help contribute to that with a fight that she can stream and earn money off of as I won't make any money from it. She offered to do it for charity and not make any money off of it. We've seen the posts. We've seen the conversations you had between her. You knew this, Alyssa Mercante. You're lying. Charity only. Da -da 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 -da. She would not agree to it. I made it clear this is about what I believe in and I don't need cameras to box her. No, you don't want the cameras documenting you getting your ass beat by Vera Dark or any of the rest of the girls that took up your challenge after you puffed up your chest and all in front of your friends trying to posture for, oh, I don't know, attention and clout on the internet. Hmm. Me seems like you might be a hypocrite, Alyssa. Which I posted in reply to her and on my own page. Go back to reviewing Epcot bathrooms or whatever it is that you did before the grift. Well, clearly, once again, she knows nothing about Vera Dark because Vera Dark primarily covers video games. Like, at least if you were going to make that comment towards Jay, like Junk 3PO, that would actually not only be funny, but also true. But once again, Alyssa Mercante, just like every other idiot talking head out there on the internet, that is an absolute shill for legacy media or the acolytes for the spirit of the age, well... They know absolutely nothing, and they're completely and totally ignorant to what the actual side, the other side, actually has to say about anything. Because they disregard us. People like Alyssa Mercante think they're better than you. She looks down at her nose on people like you, even though the girl's probably like five foot one and weighs like 100 pounds sopping wet from the pictures I've seen. But needless to say, she thinks she's better than you. Which is why she acts like this. Which is why she doesn't feel the need to respond to any of this. So similar to what the Mercante DM'd to Dark, we went over all the DM and Darks for all that kind of stuff, went over Vera Dark's last response to her as well. So she concluded, you had a chance at a professional level event being set up and said no instantly. You rejected my stipulations from the start because you didn't want me streaming it to my bigot viewers. You then said you're a busy gal working. Get back to writing game guides then because working your hardest isn't getting you far. I put up more content in a week than you put up in a month. And that is an absolute fact. I think there's a bunch of us out there on YouTube that do more work in a day than Alyssa Mercante does in a month. And that is pathetic. There are brand new rumblers out there with less than 100 followers that put in more effort and put in more grind than Alyssa Mercante probably ever has in her life. 
She has grifted off of nothing more than her immutable characteristics, like the fact that she likes to muff dive or the fact that she likes to, you know, woke for the agenda, that she's got tattoos and this edgy little bull ring in her nose that makes her nothing look more than like cattle that should be dragged around the barnyard. But at the end of the day, based on what she said and the kind of BS agenda she tries to push, that's exactly what she is. She's cattle. She is nothing more than a blind, ignorant cow that gets fed slop and sits around chewing on her cud, regurgitating it, chewing it again, and then swallowing it back down. Because that's the kind of echo chamber these people live in. That's why she tried to insult Vera Dark by some stupid bathroom comment. They never knew us. They never knew video games. They never knew the customers. And at the end of the day, they never knew you. Because it was never about the love of any kind of escapism. It was never about the love of any kind of video games. It was about taking control of a certain section of the culture and using it to force their agenda. To force their ideology. Alyssa Mercante is probably too much of a pathetic writer and journalist to do what she actually wants to do. And that is politics. She wants to write about political BS and that other kind of nonsense. But she's not good enough to do it. Even the really pathetic CNN won't hire her. So instead, she worms her way into a video game journalist by claiming, I'm a gamer girl. And people just accept it at face value because guess what? Nerds are a welcoming community. Gamers and geeks always have been. That's how we are. We have passion about our IPs. We have passion about our fandoms and our franchises. That's why we love to spread the gospel. We're like brand new Christians who just found out how awesome it was to find Jesus. And we want to tell everybody about it. That's how nerds are with everything. So we, either, we, we made the mistake of welcoming these people in who had nothing more than ill intent from the get-go. It's unfortunate that our entire culture, our entire nerddom, has now been so burned by these evil, destructive people that now we feel the need to do something we've never had to do before. Gatekeep. Question people's intentions. And that's horrible. That's not a world I want to live in. That's not a world I ever wanted to live in. But disgusting monsters, cows like Elisa Mercante, are the people that have done that. And that's why they deserve to be shamed. I get it. People are tired about hearing this kind of nonsense. But the second we lean back on our laurels and stop going after these people and stop calling them out, is exactly when those ignorant people out there who aren't paying attention like we are, Start welcoming these people back in because people like us aren't shouting about monsters like these. So make shame great again, boys and girls, because Elisa Mercante is only the latest in a long line that will continue to go on of people that deserve to be called out and shamed from here into perpetuity or they find their Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Which, Boys and girls, which way you think that's going to go?